DC, the founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. inside the octagon, he is ready to fight. And now our fill the tape for this heavyweight fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Monster, fighting out of the red corner, Roos, the Dragon, Lee. So Herb Dean, third man Ready, in there for this one. Ready. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training, and I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Another blistering combination there, really starting to do a nice job stringing the shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body, his face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. Up top, up top. Oh, that felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter, but he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Everything works off of the jab, doubles up on it there. Nice kick. Side kick is there. Lands a nice straight. one coming and both fighters exchange in the pocket straight right hand no good straight left counter is true and that kick is good by Lee just over three minutes now to go Oh, misses with the jab. Clean punch. Let's go. Circle, circle, and keep that right hand up for me. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Oh, nice block. This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his score. He was going low. But now he's got him hurt very badly. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Gotta capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you gotta find a way to finish the fight. He's got the single column time. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Beautiful punch now. Great time. Mm. 
nice. I need you to scramble, scramble. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. There it is, now he's going to mount. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Lee's in half court. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. And there you go, again, half guard. One minute now to go in round one. Lee getting work here from the top. Let's see if he goes for a sweep to try to get back to his feet. Volume strikes continue to rain down. His opponent pretty helpless there on the ground. His opponent is helpless. He's been hurt, he's been battered, he's been beat. And now this guy's just trying to find the right time to land that fight that is in play. He's cut now above the eye, courtesy of that strike. We will keep an eye on it as the fight continues. Downstairs. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Back and forth we go. Final seconds of the round. Horn set for the end of round one. All right, that's the end of the round. You see the cut on his forehead sustained in that round. The cut man has 60 seconds now to close it up and try to prevent it from becoming an issue here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Ready. Ready. Go. Second round on the way. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Oh, huge overhand. Unable to land with that punch. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Checks the leg kick. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well, until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, he seems lost to it. Work. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was gonna invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Able to check the high kick. Hands up, hands up. Side kick. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Three minutes and change to go in round two. Oh, nice kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Just a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're gonna continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. 
Nice straight right lance. Oh, good block there. This pace is just absurd. He has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list his performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Lance, the sidekick now. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Nice jab by Lee. to the body. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on using that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Now it's his mount. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. In the half guard. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Oh, so an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Misses again with a right punch. Seconds winding down in round two. Two rounds in the books. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. Well, he's done a real good job attacking that cut above the eye, and here is your visual proof. I mean, John, just devastating. These blows were amazing. He was able to land at will, and he opened up a nasty cut over the eye of his opponent. Now he's got to target it. And every time he lands, Ready. that blood will start Good. to pour down into the eye, making it real hard to fight. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round, just like he did in the previous one. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Back and forth we go. Well, he might be working towards an attritive knockout here tonight as he continues to pepper that body. Look at those numbers, bottom of your screen. That has been the most significant stat in this fight. The body strikes landed for this young man, working here towards the best performance of his UFC career. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be a huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, nice right hand. Nice display of technique by him there on the sidekick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in the UFC. Lee's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge.
Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh, perfect execution on the low kick. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent. Oh, and if you take one of them, if you end the night, that one land you right on the spot. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Well, you gotta think he might be trying to set up that overhand again. He's found a home for it all night long. Let's see if that holds true. from that cut with each strike landed and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that... Oh! Another one! Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just gotta find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited and you want to finish because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. Beautiful transition. Now inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Well, perhaps it's a high fight IQ, perhaps it's obvious, but he's attacking that cut that is getting deeper by the minute. And it seems like the right oh! yeah, He's hurt really bad. Pick. That lead right hand is nasty. 30 seconds now to go on the round. Oh, that one landed, yep. Well, you thought the cut man did his job, but that cut on the nose is just nasty, and it is pouring blood now. And both guys really throwing with authority. Final seconds of round three. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Oh, that cut on his nose is only getting worse. Not good. Oh. That's three rounds oh. in the can. We're headed to the championship round. Well, what a war of attrition this fight has been. Both fighters dealing with cuts, critical damage in the facial area. Something's got to give at some point. Yeah, these are the types of fights that we love. These guys are leaking everywhere. They're both trying to finish this fight. They're very evenly matched, and you can see it in the competition, but you can also see it in the damage that they're both showing. All right, let us show you all that was done in terms of the damage in that previous round. He has got a huge gash on his cheek. I mean, there was that shot right there. That one landed and opened him up. What a nasty combination thrown by his opponent, but this cut now is another issue to deal with. He's got one of the best fighters in front of him, and he's dealing with this cut on the cheek. You ready to fight? You ready? Go All right, here is round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Time to work. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. Eats a jab there. So I'm gonna hit you and then you hit me. Back and forth we go. This is one of the best fights I've called all year. Yeah, one of the best fights. And it, it, the, the blood, the injuries only add to the entry. It only adds to who's gonna continue down the path and get the hand raised. Both of these guys are so tough, they really have laid it on the line. No defense, these two are going back and forth. There's 
work, guys. Come on. Oh, there's that kick, and it lands. Oh, he's he's spraying blood now. Holy smokes! Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Big body kick. Another big body kick land. Rips the body there for good measure. Oh, just a nasty leg kick. That one hurt. That's hard to watch. I mean, he is throwing those kicks with evil intent. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. That blood becoming a real factor. Big right hand. Doing work with the jab there. Oh, straight punch. It's there again. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, man. That cut is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy figures to be busy between fights. He's going to be very busy. He's going to be very busy trying to keep this guy in the fight. His cut has gotten bad, and he has got a guy in front of him that is going to continue to target him. Leg kick. Please kick that one blocked. Man, that cut has really opened up. Just over two minutes to go. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the UFC's octagon. Just out of range with that right hook. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Lead kick is true there by Lee. Those leg kicks, man. That's his investment. His investment is in the leg kicks. Oh, the head kick there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kicks. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, nice knee. Lee's nose is absolutely mangled at this stage of the fight. I'm no doctor, but I feel pretty convicted in saying that thing is definitely broken. And we might get a ringside position or a referee to stop this fight here soon. All right, well, the ref's going to step in here. He has done a job on his nose. You see what I did there, nose job? <laughs> but, John, it's a bloody nose. We've all had bloody noses. We got bloody noses in our first fight at seven years old. So I'm, I'm pretty sure they'll let him keep fighting. Oh, that doctor's tough. He's seen a lot of blood in the ER. This fight's going to continue, at least for now. Let's go. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, well, this fighter was bullish in his desire to continue, and the doctor is going to afford him that opportunity as the referee gets us back on the way. This guy's a fighter, man. This guy doesn't want to lose a fight on the stool. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. All right, so the blood continues to be a major factor in this fight, and I think at some point the referee is going to intervene here, DC. He hasn't been able to change anything, right? So it doesn't, we have no indication that he's going to be able to stay in this fight. The cut was open very early, and now we're at a point where it's going to be stopped due to all the blood and how limited he is oh, to try to stay in this fight. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so we're going to take a look back at some of the replays that caused all of this damage in that previous round. These guys were going back and forth, both throwing real heavy strikes that really did a lot of damage to their opponent. It's an evenly matched fight, but one of them has to separate themselves if they're going to get the victory. All right, so the cut men have done their work. Let us see who can survive as we get ready to start what could be our final round here tonight.
All right, they attend to the fighter on the stool. And I guess if you are going to be cut open, cheek ain't a bad place for it. Yeah, it's the best spot, right? You never want to be cut. You never want to be bleeding. But if it's on the cheek, it's as good of a spot as it can be. But you still got to do something different, though, because even though the blood isn't going in your eye, every time you get hit there, it's horrible. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, fifth and final round. Effective with the jab. There's that side kick. Oh, big front kick lands flush. Lee's an absolutely bloody mess right now. Cut man knows he's got his work cut out for him between rounds. Pretty good connection there, yeah. Well, he blocks a shot there. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. His left guy pretty slow on at this point. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Sidekick lands for him there. Oh, I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Right, we go inside the octagon now where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 29 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts. And candidly, thus far, few men have succeeded.